How many Dragonstones can you earn during the ninth anniversary celebration? The answer is 1,000. For those of you who are probably going to say, oh, you can skip to the end. The answer's right there. I'm telling you right now, the answer is 1,000. But if you would be so kind as to indulge a little bit and watch this video, I would appreciate it because then you can see how I got to such a number. So before we jump in, if you guys have been enjoying all the ninth anniversary content on the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We are so close to the anniversary, and we are also so close to 90,000 subscribers that if we could reach that, it would be a dream come true. So subscribe today. Don't delay. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and like this video. So ninth anniversary overall, we did do separate videos going over each and every part of the celebrations. And in doing so, it was actually very useful because number one, it got us more hyped, but also it allowed me to see any possible calculation errors that could have occurred. And we did have a few going into these calculations. So before we jump in, disclaimer, this is not a guaranteed 1000 billion percent accurate. There could be small variabilities. This is not exact, this is an approximation. Human calculation error is always a thing. You can check your mistakes, check my mistakes. You know, it, it's happened. Possible additional social media campaigns. There are differences between global and JP. Even when we hit the unification, there will still be minor differences. So those minor differences could result in stone count differentials. Top grossing performance. JP is one region where they usually get a certain amount of stones just for hitting top grossing. Whereas for global, it is worldwide. So for example, if four to five regions were to hit top grossing in the app store, and that means you'd probably get around 30 dragon souls. However, if 10 to 15 regions hit top grossing, it's not going to be a 30 dragon stone payout. It could be 70 or it could be more. So for all those different reasons, top grossing performance could still be a subject of variability. Possible missed events, incomplete wiki. This has always been a problem. Sometimes not everything is shown. I had to go through every single mission, every single news update to try to find every single bit of stone that i could that sounds weird every single dragon stone that i could to make this as close to approximate as possible ask my boy proton i ran through a bunch of numbers with him as well to try to make this as close as possible so if there are still some missing dragon stones also keep in mind i do like to undersell how many stones we get so while i say a thousand it could be more but you wouldn't know if you didn't watch the video see what i'm saying see, see? It's very smart so let's go through it. And I am going to include the countdown celebration. I am posting this video before the countdown celebration actually starts. And so with the giant elephant in the room, that is the worldwide, not the worldwide, but the JP Global unification, there could be additional content that they drop on global to further the catching up thing, right? As you all know, with us going into ninth anniversary, we don't have Topo. We don't have the Tanabata celebration that JP is just starting out on, which is the UI Goku. So with those two celebrations in mind, are they, and then of course, sell max and anything else, how are they going to incorporate all of that stuff before worldwide download? With that major question, it could possibly influence some minor differences during the celebration. I can't account for that. So what we're looking at is everything that JP got while removing the stuff that Global already got, like the boot tanks and the Super Vegito. So for the countdown, log in 10 Dragon Stones. It's like one, one, two, two, three, 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 or something like that to get your 10 stones. That's not even close to accurate, but basically 10 stones. Default daily missions, nine stones. Comeback campaign. This may not happen during the countdown. This might happen going into the part one. This might not necessarily happen during countdown. LRSTR UI Goku. We already see this in the data download. Ultimate Excite Battle Stage 1 gives us a bunch of dragon stones. Red Zone Stage 5. I'm going to try to get this video out. By the time you're watching this one, I might have already dropped the Red Zone video, or maybe I did. I don't know. But look out for that one. Six dragon stones. Speed battle. Speed battle is back. One of one of the more fun videos on the channel is me raging in speed battle. You guys should go check that out. So about 84 dragon stones can be obtained during the countdown portion. Then when we jump into the ninth anniversary, let's start by talking about the login. This is one thing that people were pointing out in the comments. I didn't change the numbers, but I am aware of it. So during the JP nine year anniversary, they received 30 dragon stones on top of the usual login stuff. So with part one overall, they got 30 extra stones. However, they also received 50 dragon stones during the nine year anniversary live stream. Global doesn't typically get a live stream. Instead, we get either a video or a producer's letter or some combination of the two. So in order to make up for those extra stones that JP typically gets during a live stream, they would give it to us up front in the form of just like a massive stone payout. Last year it was 77 through the producer's letter. So I didn't incorporate that in my calculations. I will do so this time. So we could change this from 30 to maybe 80, just so we can cover whatever JP received. I will incorporate that at the end of the calculation. So 
I am aware. So 72 dragon stones, default. These are all the stuff that we went over during the actual like main video for each part. So I don't want to go through all this again. Everything is in here, including the LR Broly Trio EZA. I made sure to check all of it. So we have almost, we have about 350 dragon stones. We're not going to do the rounding down just yet. We'll wait until the end for that. So 357 plus 84, we're looking at what, 430? It's almost uh, 440 dragon stones, maybe a little bit over that. Then going into part two, the dates might not necessarily be exact. This is just based on whatever JP had. I copied it. Login, we don't have the same big time payout at the beginning. We just have the standard three stones per day. Default daily missions, part two missions, SNS campaign. We get this once per day during the countdown, but then during the actual course celebration, it's once per part. New Dokkan event for a new character. Obviously, new Dokkan Fest. Excite Battle gets another stage. Blue Zone going strong pan skill orb event a lot of skill orb grinding is going to be happening during this celebration beer story event all this stuff also you can buy dragon stones with your water bottles so this might seem like a very boring mundane event with only two stones but it will allow you to buy 20 more stones so basically we could call this 22. super hot fire event frieza burst mode so there's going to be a survey i think maybe i don't see there's any reason for there not to be one but you know you never know and then top grossing again this could change Part one and part two top grossing could very well change. What if global players go insane and we have like 12, 13 regions hitting number one? You never know. So this might not be 30. This could be more. And in the past, they have given global more stones during celebrations than JP. Of course, it's happened the other way around too. But they have, I think over the past like four or five years, global has generally received more stones. I do have some of the numbers. We'll check down below. So we get about 240 stones from part D. Moving on to part three. Everything pretty much checked out in my part three video. So I don't think there's any changes that needed to be done. We are basically wrapping up all remaining events. Also getting EZAs. The part, the universe seven, year six anniversary EZAs will happen. Golden weekend gives us 20, 21 stones in the span of three days as opposed to three weeks. We got all sorts of good stuff. Another burst mode. We get a red zone stage eight for the original movie edition, which was pretty cool and then cell max i've seen some conflicting reports on cell max it's difficult it's not difficult i don't know if y'all are just trolling me but i do appreciate it because you know how sometimes people may spoil something and the best way to counteract a spoiler is to reply to it with immediate other spoilers that might just be straight up lies i feel like some of y'all did this to protect me so i do appreciate that i have no idea if this is going to be tough or not and i i don't care but it'll be fun and then at the end they give us a thank you celebration reward this will probably be the same I don't think this would change and that gives us about 350 dragon stones so with all that said here is the final calculation 84 plus 357 plus 243 plus 342 gives us 1036 now remember when i said at the beginning of this video that i was going to be factoring in the extra stones that we get for the beginning of the celebration i am counting it down here so because 30 dragon stones is already in the calculations the other 50 that jp received during their live stream is essentially all that we have left so I chose to include, if we add remaining 47, I don't know why I said 47, but okay. So we add 47 more and we get 1,083. This doesn't have to be precise. So like, you know, what if they round it up and they give us, I don't know, 60 or something like that. They could do that. And if they do, then this is almost 1,100 stones, but I'm still going to go ahead and round it down to a flat 1,000 just so that there can still be a little bit to gain extra during the celebration. Maybe some of these events don't actually happen on the anniversary. Maybe they hold back or maybe top grossing absolutely fizzles and we fail miserably and no region hits number one. Don't forget, there are other apps out there. It's not just about us getting a banger celebration. It also has to be able to compete and overtake competing apps, right? So if other apps are doing really, really well, like that stupid horse racing game in Japan, like if we have something like that on global, isn't Fake Grand Order like the biggest competition for Dokkan? Let's say Fake Red Order gets some crazy waifu or something like that, and then they go crazy. That might affect our top grossing. So either they pay us out via like a thank you reward, or our top grossing just simply doesn't reflect and we get lower amounts. So I think this is still fine. 1,083. I'm going to go ahead and write it down to 1,000 Dragon Stones for the ninth anniversary celebration. Now, in the grand scheme of things, this does seem kind of low when compared to some of the recent years, because I actually have the numbers from years past. Eight, eight year anniversary, we had about 1,200 stones seventh anniversary was the craziest we had almost 1500 stones and actually on the seventh anniversary jp had a little bit more i don't know why i don't have the numbers for eighth anniversary but yeah seventh anniversary jp had a little bit more sixth anniversary global had more 
fifth anniversary global had more so it's kind of plateauing at around a thousand this is why even before I made any of these videos I told you guys around a thousand stones is what you can expect from the celebration and this effectively confirms that so whatever you have right now going into the ninth anniversary celebration let's just say you have 20. I know some of y'all can't resist summoning I get it right let's say you have 20 dragon stones well in reality you're going to have about a thousand and twenty stones but don't forget a lot of that does depend on your ability to clear the events blue zone red zone cell max event lr ezas if you're newer to the game some of these events might not be doable right now but for events like that they aren't necessarily ones that need to be done right away i talked about this in my ticket video blue zone you can take your time red zone you can take your time some of the missions might be time gated so you want to focus on those more so but the other ones if you can't get them done during the celebration this technically isn't accurate but still they will be there for you to get in the future so this could vary even more depending on your experience level but if you're a new player and you can't do all of these events well what you're lacking in challenge event content stones you're making up for in the simple fact that you're new to the game and all of the various events that are included that i don't mention could give you a ton of stones like anytime i'm doing these dragon stone breakdowns i never factor in older story events so if you're brand new this gives you 20 stones this gives you 20 stones this you know all of these different ones give you 20 30 stones each and then all of the different ezas give you a bunch of stones all of the different boss rushes give you a million stones there's going to be so much else that you can do to compensate for the fact that you are not able to clear all of the challenge events so just keep that in mind this is not the most set in stone value but this is i think the safest bet to tell everybody 1000 stones for nine year book it and this will probably be the standard moving forward until maybe maybe 10 year anniversary changes things and we get st we start to get like 1500 1600 normally but i think for any marquee celebration like worldwide download anniversary this is the number that you should generalize and tell people if they ever ask you like hey how many stones do we get during anniversary about a thousand pretty good amount guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to like down below in the comments your thoughts on the ninth anniversary overall how many stones would you have if you were to add 1000 to your count right now which banner are you targeting first which part are you most looking forward to let me know anything else you want to discuss in the comments down below also check the pinned comment if there's anything that i missed i will put that in there also be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let youtube know you want to see more of my stuff do it thanks again stay tuned and remember to dokon responsibly